Can Goleta Island? Uh, Goleta Island was used for strategic communication and intelligence research by the Navy beginning in the 1930s. Uh, in 1959, it became a Naval Security Group activity uh, facility. And it was turned over to the Republic of Panama on the 31st of December, 1999, the last day that anything could be turned over. Uh, the island was also shared with the Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute, uh, and they still maintain a research facility on the island, just located uh, east of the communications facility. All right. This was uh, reported by um, two people, actually, Michael uh, Linerentz and Bob Mitchell. And uh, this area, you know, as uh, uh, Michael says, the, the jungle and so forth and vegetation was kept back from this, uh, this antenna area. Um, and, you know, they, they know, well, it still appears to be devoid of uh, vegetation 50 years later. Um, this particular place had an operations building in the middle, and uh, I'll show you some pictures, but uh, there's an antenna array that, that uh, runs around it. Uh, I want to back up a little bit. Uh, we'll go through the attachments first. I'll show you the 1969 map, and as you can see, here's the area that we're talking about. And uh, here is a CC map fragment, and what we're talking about is right out in this area. Okay, this is a picture that Bob Mitchell took in, uh, I believe it was in the 80s. And you can see the access road coming in and the operations building, the antenna array, and you can see how the vegetation is, is kept away. All right, and here was a write-up on it. Um, uh, as you can see, here's a picture of it in the mid-1960s. And as we saw what it looks like today. And the Smithsonian Research Institute uh, that was mentioned is, is over here and still in operation. Another point on Goleta Island, and this was a uh, tropical test center, TTC test facility. And um, I added it based on the TTC map. And here is our view from 1969. Um, The TTC map shows it here as number 23. We call it the Goleta Test Facility. France Field. The airport was established in 1918 as a United States Army Air Force military airfield. Eventually, it became France Field Air Force Base. It was deactivated on the 1st of November 1949 due to budgetary reductions. Uh, the Air Force maintained jurisdiction over the airport until uh, the 31st of December 1973. Uh, reportedly, there's a chemical barrier site, burial site that was established at France Field in the 30s. With the return of the canal zone to Panama on the 31st of December, 1999, American control of France Field ended. 
on August 20th, 2013, Panama opened the new international airport on the site. The new terminal can serve up to a thousand passengers at peak period, and the new runway can uh, land aircraft uh, of the Boeing 757 size. So here we see the new France field. I'll back out some. And um, part of what uh, was done to the airport was um, the runway was extended in both directions, here and up this way. New taxiways were uh, put in and this would be the terminal that was built. Um, I had one of the locations that I, you know, I, I mentioned that not all locations could be uh, mapped that were suggested. And one of those was uh, a Cocosolo Navy uh, ammo area. And unfortunately, when the runway was extended, they, they went over and removed that area. It was in here. Now, what I did was to tag an area. I tagged one that is, uh, it's, it's away from the active stuff going on and the new terminal and down by the perimeter of France Field and um, off of part of the old taxiways in here. Um, pull up sample and I'm hoping you're, you're able to see this. Um, as part of the range study, that was done in uh, the late 90s, 19, late 90s, um, there was a um, concern brought up that, uh, you know, well, we ought to be looking also around France Field. And this was brought up by a, a consultant that was hired. Uh, his name was Rick Stauber. And he was a formal bomb disposal expert, and he had 20 years in the Army. Uh, and they brought him in to study sites. And he was suspicious of not only uh, France Field, but also Rio Hatta, which is on the other side. And uh, he, he felt that surplus bombs and so forth may have been uh, dumped in the sea or buried near these airfields. Uh, when he arrived though in Panama, he was told he can't look at those. He was to focus only on Empire Range and Balboa West and Pina Range. When he reached the uh, end of his, uh, or came up for contract renewal, his contract was not renewed. And a second uh, article, and th this talks quite a bit about um, the use of chemical and biological um, agents in Panama. And within this, uh, it does talk about France Field and the fact that uh, it was used to store uh, particularly uh, chemical agents. Okay, so I showed you what France Field looked like uh, in the new one. And again, our 1969 uh, view is, is low resolution, but you can see the runway, see the pinned area, and the runway was not as long. Um, the original runway was made out of concrete, and when I was down there in the early 70s, it was in very poor shape. I mean, it, it was buckled and cracked and everything else. 
And despite that, uh, occasionally we had uh, a Panamanian plane who, who wanted to land there. And in fact, some of them did land there. Um, our old fragment of the uh, of a CZ map shows the layout of the uh, old France Field runway. Our pin is right over in this area. You see the, the runway ended here. And the ammo depot that I, I mentioned to you for Coca-Cola is up here, which is now underneath um, the extended runway. And the hangars and so forth used to be all over in this area. And as I mentioned, um, there was a tropical test center activity in this area. It's number 15, Coca-Cola test facility. I'd like to thank veteran Richard Wyman for putting together all of this information on possible places to test in the Panama Canal Zone. We are further than we have ever been before. We have a rulemaking request that's been granted by the VA Secretary. We have an HR 5026 bill for Panama introduced into the Congress.